Welcome to another video. I walk with Phil and I'm in West Bromwich and today I'm in Black Lake. Well that's where I am at the moment uh, and the reason I'm here today is because I'm here to check out uh, a house which once belonged to a very famous wartime hero by the name of Robert Edwin Phillips and he lived at this particular house uh, during his childhood and up until his retirement after leaving, uh, after leaving the military. He's the only known recipient in West Bromwich to have been awarded the Victoria Cross. So I'm going to show you the house and really that should, that's all it should be. Uh, a very famous hero awarded a medal, Victoria Cross, the highest you can achieve and yeah and the blue plaque is there on the house and commemorating where he lived but that was not the end of the story so but first we'll show you the house and then we'll take up the story uh, after we have visited the house and I'll tell you what the controversy was regarding his name doing a bit of filming around here I did the Black Lake estate and I've been along here as I filmed a bit of the hilltop just ahead of me. I've also done a film of Hilltop Park. Check all those out if you can. Uh, but today I'm here standing outside a small detached house and uh, in its number 54B Holly Head House here on Hilltop. And just at the top of the door, you can just make out there's a blue plaque. And it was here where, where Captain Robert Edwin Phillips lived. Uh, but sadly, there's a lot of hedge growth there to the right of it, and we can't quite see the actual wording of it. I'm trying to zoom in, so I can't quite read it sadly and it's right it's way high anyway I think these uh, hedges by the side of the door um, trim nothing able to see it properly Robert Phillips was born in Queen Street in Hilltop on the 11th of April 1895, but sadly now the Queen Street in Old Top has, has long gone. He came here as a child and this is where he lived and this is where he returned after the war until his retirement. And he was educated at the King Edward VI School, Grammar School in Aston in Birmingham. And he, he, when he was called up for the First World War, uh, in 21 years old, serving in modern-day Iraq, he went to the assistance of his commanding officer who had been mortally wounded, lying in open land uh, and under intense fire. Lieutenant Phillips went to his commanding officer who was lying there mortally wounded and managed to bring him back, carry the officer back to the British lines and and so for that he was a Tory cross for bravery. He later became a captain and his Victoria Cross is now displayed at the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers Museum in Warwick. As we said he, he stayed here at this house until his retirement in the last few years he did leave the house in the last few years of his life he moved to uh, lost Withiel in Cornwall where he died at St Veeps and he's buried at St. the churchyard in St Veeps in, uh, on the 23rd of September 1968 at the age of 73. That's a brief description of Captain Robert Edwin Phillips and Sandwell Council commemorated uh, his life. The plaque was unveiled on the 20th, 26th of January 2008 in the presence of his great nephew, Derek Pinches, and other dignitaries 
that uh, we're here for the unveiling. OK, so that would have been it. But then the real story begins to unfold and I'm going to take you to a street where it supposedly, at the time, would have commemorated um, Captain Robert Edwin Phillips. So we'll go there and we'll take up the story from that point. Take you to the road now where all the controversy regarding Captain Robert Phillips begins. Yet yeah, it was here when this road was created in the year 2000. A lot of new houses was built on here. It's a no-through road. Uh, it's got no access point at the top. Yeah, it was created in 2000. Uh, but it, the but the road it was called Edwin Phillips Drive. When his great nephew Derek Pinches spotted the error. Uh, when he came to the blue placard unveiling um, to the house that I've just recently shown you and he was quite alarmed to see that the road that was named after Robert Edwin Phillips was actually called Edwin Phillips Drive and as you can see this is what we've got it states Edwin Phillips Drive commemorating West Bromwich born Captain Robert Edwin Phillips VC 1895 to 1968 and he was awarded the Victoria Cross during the First World War. Now no sign, street sign, in Britain has anything like this and you may ask why couldn't they change the name to its proper name which would have been Robert Edwin Phillips Drive. Well, that was down to the residents of this road when, when the pressure was on the council to change the name to, its, to the proper name of the recipient of the Victoria Cross the residents were not very happy at all. In fact 85% of this street objected to changing the name because they said it would have caused chaos with changing the street names with banks uh, with uh, electricity and water utilities uh, and yeah well they had a point uh, it, it was like uh, you know you like moving into a, a new house without actually moving and so there would have been a lot of um, changing and inconvenience and so what should have been a, a wonderful honorable thing to name somebody uh, name a street after somebody ended up being a very dishonourable one in fact and the bungling council chiefs uh, admitted they had got no idea as to why this street was named Edwin Phillips Drive instead of Robert Phillips Drive and the, the, the council, the bungling council uh, admitted at the time that they had no idea why it was called Edward Phillips Drive and not Robert Edward Phillips Drive. So after eight years of it being called Edwin Phillips Drive, the council, as we said, had, was under intense pressure to change the name, but the uh, residents objected. So the great nephew of the great war hero, uh, Captain Phillips, returned again to West Bromwich where only a few years early he was at the house where uh, Robert Phillips uh, lived it was back here now for an unveiling of a street sign and this time this was the only compromise they could reach because of the objections of the residents so this was the compromise that they came up with by uh, adding a sign underneath uh, underneath Edwin Phillips Drive so after much controversy this was finally the answer to the the problem of the name and so on. I think it was around 2009 uh, Derek Pinches and other civic dignitaries came round here for the unveiling of this particular name of this road and it is quite unique it is a bonkers <laughs> name of a street to be fair to have that caveat underneath a misspelled street name 
so I think most people were finally pleased that at least Robert Edwin Phillips had been uh, honourably uh, commemorated with this street sign as it appears it was the only compromise they could actually come to. I suppose the irony of, irony of this particular road was when people did move here in 2000 they didn't know who Edwin Phillips Drive was. We, we never know the names of these, who these roads are named after as a rule, do we? I mean, we just move into this, the road, the, the houses in the street. And um, I live in a particular road with a name and I've got no idea who he could have been. He could have been an alderman, he could have been a, a councillor, he could have been somebody famous, but we don't really know how these streets, uh, who these streets are named after. So when this street, uh, it was called Edwin Phillips Drive. None of the residents actually knew it was named after a war hero. And so, but when Edwin Phillips Road Drive had this placed underneath uh, the street name, at least people in this street now know who he actually was. But the thing, the the other point to add, of course, if it from the first in the first place, if it had been named Robert Edwin Phillips Drive, would the residents of the street even know who Robin, Robert Edwin Phillips was? And we only know today, of course, because of that, uh, that uh, extra signage underneath. But anyway, there you go. That's, that's the story. That was the controversy. One of the most bonkers street names in the whole of the country. OK, then, so that's the end of our little historical walk of the of Captain Robert Edwin Phillips. Uh, we've had a look at the house, a house that, of course, many people have driven by many times and will walk past many times, not knowing that somebody very famous lived in that house. He was the one and only recipient of the Victoria Cross who lived here in West Bromwich. And the last few years, of his life after retirement he did move down to Cornwall and that's where he's buried now in Cornwall and it was um, it was a very controversial time this sign but at least it has been resolved uh, to most people's satisfaction and yeah and if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and if you hit subscribe it'd be very very much appreciated if you could keeps the channel alive and if you've got your notifications switched on, hit the notification bell to uh, let you know of future videos that I upload on a regular basis. So there you go, and I'll see you on the next one.